place your bets, place your bets. Who is it that saved Urahara at the very last second? Bleach Chapter 500. All right, so for starters, I want to say congrats to Bleach Taite Kubo beforehand because with the utmost respect, 500 chapters, milestone, you know, that's awesome in and of itself to last for 500 chapters in a magazine, you know, basically going strong for years and years. So, shouts out to that. Now, this chapter... A couple things went down. First of all, I want to talk about, uh, I guess, something quite funny to me. Jidanbo, which I, I believe he's the gatekeeper and whatnot. He's just, like, rampaging into the fight, I guess, and whatnot. I don't know what what's up with him. I guess he doesn't want to wait around and whatnot. So I thought that that was kind of funny. Um, Ichigo trapped inside the thing, and he's going crazy. And I don't know if he's developing some sort of awareness or what, because he's hearing everybody's voices. Even though he, he's not hearing it through the phone, he's, like, hearing everybody. He's like, Renji? Rukia? So he hears everybody's voices. Did he develop some sort of new power? I believe so. Don't know what it is yet. And I believe this is just going to be another obstacle that he's going to overcome and get probably even stronger by it because he's trapped in this gate right now just as he was about to go to Soul Society. And I love seeing the faces of the captains when they found out Ichigo was going over there, especially Zaraki. She's like, Kurosaki? You know, he's like excited. Uh, so, you know, he's going to go help out eventually when he can get out, I, I guess. But um, who is it that helped Urahara at the end? That's really one of the big questions in my mind. I'm guessing almost everyone's going to say Grim Jow. There's a couple different problems with the whole Grim Jow theory for the simple fact that if Hottie Bell got whipped up and dragged away, what makes you think that Grim Jow will stand a better chance because, you know, Grim Jow was always weaker. Now, I guess he could have powered up within the time between, you know, his disappearance to now, which would be very interesting to see. So if it is Grim Jow, I'm excited. I don't think it's Grim Jow. It might be maybe Ichigo's dad or somebody else. I'm, I'm betting on that. Maybe it's Ichigo's dad, but we'll see. You know, it's either Ichigo's dad or it'll be a crazy shock. Grim Jow if it is. I don't I don't know why Kubo would do that. What would Grim Jow's purpose be? Well, I guess, you know, because Waco Mundo was conquered, so I guess in a way he would feel like helping, but I don't know. I don't see him helping out Ichigo because Grim Jow's just the way he is, but we'll see. Uh, nonetheless, interesting chapter. I like this chapter a lot better than last week's because a couple of different things went down. Jidambu jumping in, like, walking, waltzing in, like, hey, I'm about to fight. Um, I love Kudos Kudos uh, Kurosuchi's, uh, I guess, reaction or whatnot. He was like, oh, Akon, he went, you know, behind my back and did it anyways or whatever. Because, you know, at the end of the day, they need Ichigo. Everyone's getting, you know, dusted aside. So, of course, they're going to have to get Ichigo. And, nonetheless, I wanted to see what happened with Chad and Orihime because Chad was, like, missing a chunk of his arm and a chunk of his hip. I was like, you know, what's going on with that? And I think Orihime had holes in her, too. So, is Kurge dead as well? That's another question. Is Kurge dead because he was sliced in half and blood was gushing out and everything? And whoever did that B stuff, by the way, I can't wait to see who it is. But is Kurge dead? I think he might be dead. I, I don't know because he was sliced in half. So, you know, he should be done. But then again, there's been crazier stuff happening. Bleach, like, uh, I forget what was her name, the visor that she got cut in half and, you know, she survived. So... I don't know if he's dead exactly, especially with all these powers, but I'm going to assume that he is dead for the simple fact that he got cut in half, so we'll see with that as well. A couple of mysteries. Is Kurge dead, and who was it that sliced him in half? We'll find out in 501. Again, solid chapter. Looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. I doubt it was Uryu. If anybody want to predict as well, I doubt it was Uryu. Like, when does he slice anyone in half, you know? So I don't think it's Uryu, by the way. Um, crazy stuff. Can't wait to see more. Really interesting. What did you think overall this chapter? You know, just your world thoughts, because to me, it was pretty awesome. Uh, nice amount of information and whatnot. Well, that's all I have for this quick review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you can't wait to see who it is and if Kurge is dead. I'm Fanet World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.